Highs and lows, what you got? Um, biggest highs are uh, just walking in that stadium the first time. I've never seen, like, I've never been to such a big stadium before. Um, just walking through there and seeing all the, like, hey, it's like a, I'm going to But other than that, not really many lows, maybe sitting in the, the hospital yesterday for a long time. Oh, yeah. But just because it gets a little boring at times. But other than that, just grateful to be here and it's a lot of fun. Absolutely. But other than that, just grateful to be here and it's a lot of fun. Absolutely. And one more question. Have you been in contact with the commanders? No. Okay. All right. Th take care. See you on Sundays. All right. What is the craziest question you've got this week? I feel like that's a great meeting with all the other guys. You see them on film. You see them. I feel like I've gotten, you know, one too far in TV. Like off the wall. Everything's got to be kind of too far related to it. Okay. Thanks, Kate. See you on Sundays. All right. How you doing, Marcus? I'm doing good, dude. Pretty good. Yes. So, what's your favorite moment um, at UNC? Favorite moment? Uh, uh, we got Detroit. Uh, we beat Miami. Uh, I think it was 2019. You know, um, we made a fourth and seventeen conversion, and we beat them the last play of the game. It was a great game. Absolutely. Another question. Yeah. UNC gonna beat Duke on Saturday? All right. <laughs> Appreciate it, Marcus. See you on Sundays. Take care. Go Hills. All right. It's not just that you get comfortable playing football, but you just you stop understanding yourself as a player better. You know what I'm saying? So if you if you get if you play for one year compared to playing for three or four years, like you just know yourself and you're able to see how you advance and you just have a way better understanding of your body and how you move and how you progress. It just it's really just controlling. Who was the most difficult uh, pass rusher that you had to face um, in your college career and what made them so difficult to block? Um, in my college career, I would say my Jay Sanders uh, from Cincinnati. Uh, he's here, so um, I have to play against him three times. He broke the same. 2019, he played back to back in the conference championship. 2020, he played him. Um, and it was a great matchup, you know what I'm saying? Um, but it's just, I felt like he had all the tools to call it. He pass rusher, you know, um, he was tall at length. Quick as a can, get up the ball quick, change rep shifts. He had all the things that were playing fast with him. You know, so, um, and I, in Memphis, we run an offense where we threw the ball like 40 to 50 times a game. And I, I, was, I was a one on one guy. You know, I didn't get a lot of help in pass mode. So, like, Lucky is that kind of guy for like 30, 30 35 reps in the game. Thanks, man. I appreciate it. So, like, that, was, that was a hard adjustment. Like, um, but for the most part, it was really good. Though. You said hot chicken? Absolutely. I think anybody should try to answer hot chicken. Where would your wife go to school? Where did she grow up? I'm saying, so it's great. We're going up against Bryce Hall, the place of the Jets now. You know, so, yeah, that race is really good. How did TCU find you, or was it the other way around? Um, I hit the portal, and they hit me up just like the many schools that did, and you know, um, so this is like it, and so it's TCU. Um, have the commanders um, spoke with you? The commanders. Watch the Commanders, yeah. Um, the East West Shrine game for a little bit, but yeah, not yet. Okay. All right. Can't wait to see you on Sundays. All right. Yeah, he was just like some smooth dude. Like, you know, like, he was like, he was just like, he was 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 like, he
Yeah, I definitely think it, uh, it was, uh, it's had a positive influence on me going forward. Just, uh, you know, being able to do the things that I do against those type of players, um, yeah, it definitely has benefited. And you did some work uh, at the Shrine Bowl inside, right? Yeah, yeah, I played, um, you know, both tackle spots and both guard spots throughout the week. How was that, uh, playing inside, something you didn't really he played four years for us, and then he transferred to LSU for his senior season. But uh, you know, he was a fourth round guy, so you know, we've we got a lot of really good players coming through NDSU, and um, you know our success has definitely helped us get those players and uh, turn those players into what they are. But um, yeah, just being able to put a winning field on, or a winning team on the field every single Saturday has, has been great because um, you know you, you don't win with not good players, so. Um, Having that opportunity to play in such a great program um, definitely has benefited me. You played, you played seasons of 15, 16, 15 games. How much do you think that'll help you durability-wise? You know how it gets through a full season like the NFL. Yeah, that's, that's, that's crazy because, you know, I get asked that question a lot. And for us at NDSU, that's, that's typical. You know, that's what we expect to play 15, 16 games. So, um, you know what I to step foot into an NFL uh, facility and, and know that you're going to play 16, 17 games no matter what, um, I think that's going to be really beneficial because it's something that I'm used to already. Cordell, quick question. Um, your coach influences uh, so far, who's the coach that had the most impact on you so far? Yeah, um, shoot, I've had a ton of great coaches, uh, but... A guy that really uh, holds a special place in my heart is our offensive coordinator, Coach Roll. He, uh, he played at NDSU, um, and he uh, signed a PFA with Seattle. He was with Seattle for a while and, and with Minnesota as well. But, uh, you know, he's just a guy that brings a ton of energy, um, you know, loves the game of football, has a ton of passion for what he does. And, uh, you know, when you can surround yourself with people like that, that that love the game just as much as you do, um, those are those are people that you want in your corner and uh, people you want to go to work with every day. Absolutely. You flip back to right tackle this year. How you doing, Spencer? This is Chris from uh, Couch Coach Live. Quick question: um, How's the journey so far uh, with the combat and everything? What's your favorite moment of this uh, of this process? Uh, my favorite moment uh, is the interviews, man. You know what I'm saying? Just, just giving the opportunity for guys to get to know you and who you are as a person um, off the field. Because you know? most people, they have, you know what I'm saying, a general perception of who you may be, or sometimes they don't know who you are at all. And um, outside the game, I feel like you know, that makes like the biggest impact of all, like actually knowing the person, who, who they are, who, for, who, what they stand for. You know what I'm saying? So that really means something to me, especially with the interviews, sitting face to face with some of these coaches and some of these scouts. Um, it's a blessing. All right. Thanks, Spencer. See you on Sunday. Spot, but it's really important for me to know what the right guard was saying and the left guard and the left tackle are doing. Because one, things happen, maybe someone gets banged up. Um, if you're a more experienced player, your number will be called on to maybe switch to a different spot. Or just things happen, so it's really important for me to know what's going on, not only for your assignment, but just for the overall speed. Thank how you doing, Crow? How you doing, Chris? How are you? I'm doing good, man. Hey, um, as far as for your, um, who do you emulate as far as in, in the current NFL players? Anything that emulates your game? One thing I will say, and I don't know if it's unique or not, but I don't necessarily emulate my game after anyone. But if I could, if you ask me one person that I look up to a lot, I would say Lane Johnson. Okay. Thanks. See you on Sunday.